Today, in our lesson, Jesus tells his disciples that where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Something we've probably heard before, and maybe we've, we've kind of taken that verse for granted. It seems kind of simple, but, you know, as we talked about with the kids this morning, it's really true, isn't it? And so in her book, Lynn Twist talks about a person named Audrey. She tells the story of Audrey is, is this woman who's gone through a divorce, and she's been married to a very wealthy husband who was emotionally abusive to her and also cheated on her. And so Audrey had put her career on hold. And so she had a career as a children's clothing designer. And she, for 20 years, had to put that aside. And she raised the children and essentially did whatever her husband had told her to do. And she continued to realize that he was always kind of putting her down. Always saying, you're not smart enough, you're not good enough, you can't do this, let me just take care of this. Until he was ready to move on to something else. And so as the divorce proceedings were playing out, this estranged husband played every trick in the book. He used his lawyers to lowball the the settlement, and basically she was left feeling worthless and depressed and angry and discouraged. And of course, because of what he had done, she was also broke. And that's when Lynn Twist Twist met with Audrey. She was at this low point in self-esteem, this low point in income. And as the two of them met and started talking, Lynn Twist talked about the conversation needed to shift to her true assets. She wanted Audrey to think about the people in her life who loved her unconditionally and appreciated her. Of course, that wasn't the relationship that she just exited, but there were plenty of relationships in her life that she could point to. Family members quickly came to mind, her daughters, her parents, her siblings. So too did her close, lifelong friends, and even some newer acquaintances that had popped up into her life in recent times. And none of these relationships she had noticed relied on money as the glue that held them together. When it was all said and done, she came up with about 20 people, people who loved her unconditionally and appreciated her. Then Lynn Twist said, look, I need you to do something. I need you to think of all of the qualities that these people would say about you. What are the things they appreciate about you? Things that they've told you, things that you have noticed that have, that have come up that they appreciate about you. And so Audrey had the opportunity to say, well, these, these loved ones say that I'm clever, I'm generous, I'm enthusiastic, I've got a great sense of humor. And suddenly, Audrey was noticing that she was building these assets of character. Twist helped her to realize how wealthy she truly was, and it had nothing to do with what was in her bank account. Now, Audrey still had some fear, which she was able to admit, but she also noticed now she was building confidence. And so Lynn Twist asked her a question. She said, Audrey, I need you to think about 25 years from now. How are you going to tell the story about what just has happened in your life? How are you going to be able to explain this period after your divorce? 25 years from now, what are you going to say is the thing that got you through those first few years? So she had to be reflective. She pondered, well, what, what, what would it take? And so Audrey said, well, I I think I'd have to say that I stopped letting fear prevent me from doing the things I loved. And yes, I might be afraid, but I'm going to do it anyway. I realized I have to trust myself. And so Lynn Twist pushed a little bit harder. She says, well, what about your breakthrough? What's going to be the thing that allows you to know that you're sufficient and that you are enough? And Audrey realized she had the answer right in front of her. She said, I think I'd have to say that I stopped waiting for someone else to tell me what to do. She'd put so much of her energy into listening to that voice, that voice telling her she wasn't enough. She realized if she applied all of her energy into believing, into believing in herself, she could go so much further. And so she did. She started her own children's clothing line. She did this by building networks, by finding mentors, by taking the time to get more education and attending seminars. 
And so as Lynn Twist reflected on this, she realized that for Audrey, her relationship with money also changed. Instead of being afraid of not having enough, she focused her attention on doing what she loved. Now, Twist doesn't use this exact language, but it truly does echo the words from Jesus today who says, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. This is like living that out right there in front of us. 